of you have seen this talk before. This is a talk on GoToFile, an absolutely batshit crazy idea. So, what is GoToFile? It's basically tail end recursion for files instead of subroutines. It, it basically stops parsing the current file and switches to another one without adding another stack. So, how the hell is this useful? Usually it's not. However, GoToFile is used by Test2Harness when you're using preload mode. That way it can preload all your Perl modules, then launch your test with it all preloaded without injecting another stack frame, which might mess up your tests when you're testing exceptions or warnings. So, how does it work? Well, there's a few things you need to know about. You need to know that new statements are essentially begin blocks. You need to know that GoToFile inserts a source filter. Now, source filters are, of course, evil, because they try to parse and then rewrite Perl. And only Perl can parse Perl. However, GoToFile's source filter does not parse or rewrite Perl, just throws away some Perl and pulls in other Perl. So it's not really that evil. So, things to consider. The idea is really simple, but it requires some black magic to make this happen. And the next slides are going to show how I do that. So, first off, a note, this is kind of a side note, forking in a begin block is fraught with peril. Because your file handles are shared between the processes, and in the begin block, that includes the file handle that is being used to read the current module being parsed. So if you fork in a begin block, one will parse the file correctly, and one will start parsing where the first one left off. I reported this as a bug, and it was, it was uh, returned as not a bug. <laughs> so, file line number. So simply returning the new file still wouldn't work right, because Perl will still think you're at the previous line number of file. But Perl has a command or a directive that you can put in, the special magic comment that changes what it thinks the current file line number are. So data. When you're changing file, you get a different uh, data. So the data file handle is really just a file handle, no matter what file you're on. You can close it and reopen it to whatever you want. Line noise. When you open a file in a begin block and read from the file, it will start adding this weird comment from file handle line one to all your exceptions, which once again breaks things. One of the points of go to file was let's not mess with exceptions. But you can fix this by localizing the dollar dot variable. So you need to make a module do stuff when loaded. Most of us know how import works, but here's a primer for people who don't know. So you've got your import, it's get call, it gets called when you use the module, you've got the begin block, and then you have two runtime statements, and I show you what order they actually run in there. So, now to the nitty gritty code. This is a simplified version. So go to file on its import will read in the file that it's gonna replace the current file with. It'll then open it and stash the handle for later use. It'll inject these lines, package main, close data, reopen data to something that makes sense and set the line number of file, then it calls the filter. Then the filter simply starts pumping out all the lines we injected, and then starts pumping out the lines from the actual file we switched to. And that is how GoToFile works. That shit crazy idea. 